हेलो दोस्तों दिस इज विशाखा डागा कमिंग अप विद नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ न्यूज सिंप्लीफाइड नाउ कहते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डिप्रिविएशन एंड इनइक्वालिटी इन इंडिया इंडिया को आसानी से इंडिया और भारत में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं एक इंडिया है जहाँ कहते हैं कि अच्छी खासी फैसिलिटीज है स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग है वहीं भारत है जहाँ पे सिविलाइजेशन या फिर जो आपकी बेसिक फैसिलिटीज हैं जैसे हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन काम अवेलेबल है कहते हैं भारत अक्सर रूरल इंडिया को रेफर करते हैं बट दिस टर्म एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो कम्स फॉर द द ट्राइबल इंडिया एज वेल एंड फॉर इट्स डेवलपमेंट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कम अप विद वेरियस स्कीम यहाँ पे हम बात कर रहे हैं सीड स्कीम विच इज बिंग रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाई मिनिस्टर ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस तो आज हम इसी सीड स्कीम के बारे में बात करेंगे विच इज लॉन्च फॉर द डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स तो आज के वीडियो में हम ये भी देखेंगे कि डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स क्या होती हैं या विमुख जातियाँ क्या होती हैं और इनकी हिस्ट्री क्या है और अभी करंट स्टेट क्या है वो सब डिटेल में हम आज की वीडियो में एक एक करके जानेंगे सबसे पहले देखते हैं व्हाई दिस वाज इन न्यूज दिस वाज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली बिकॉज मिनिस्टर ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट हैज लॉन्च अ सीड स्कीम सीड स्टैंड्स फॉर स्कीम फॉर इकोनॉमिक एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स इकोनॉमिक एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स जैसे इसमें सोशल इकोनॉमिक पर ध्यान दिया जाएगा जो कि हम आगे की वीडियो में भी जानेंगे पर सबसे पहले ये जाना जरूरी है कि डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स क्या होती है डी नोटिफाइड ट्राइब्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस विमुख जाति इनको समझने के लिए ये जाना जरूरी है कि जब ब्रिटिशर्स इंडिया में आए थे वो काफी काफी तरीकों से इन्होंने इंडिया को इम्पैक्ट किया था एंड देर मेन एम वॉज इकोनॉमिक एक्सप्लाइटेशन हावे वह उसके बीच में ट्राइबल्स बहुत हद तक उनके बीच में आ जाते हैं जैसे सांथाल वगैरह तो रिवोल्ट कर देते हैं एक तो हम रिवोल्ट देखते हैं दूसरा होता है अनदर सेट ऑफ रिवोल्ट वॉज ट्राइबल्स कंसिडर फॉरेस्ट एज द होम लैंड तो उसको छोड़ते नहीं थे एंड दे वॉज कॉन्टिन्यूस एक्सेस इन फॉरेस्ट हावे वह ब्रिटिशर्स वॉन्टेड फॉरेस्ट फॉर द टिम्बर राइट दे हैव एन इकोनॉमिक आई फॉर दिस and the other thing is that britishers wanted ki tribals bhi kya kare agriculture cultivation mein kare so that maximum raw material of cotton indigo wagaira unko mil sake for that they started asking tribals to not engage in the activities like gathering shifting and pastoralism which considered as actually was considered as a hindrance to the british way of like economics exploitation in india so in order to stop that what they did was in 1871 they passed a criminal tribe act under this criminal tribe act the many of the tribes were actually and their activities were declared as a cognizable offense that a non bailable offense that means if they are found to be engaging in such kind of activities without bail they can be arrested they will not be given any kind of bail after arrest and these were very simple activities like going into forest trespassing the forest collecting goods from there and even many other activities which were actually a means of livelihood for the tribal now because of which many tribal people were subjugated and actually exploited by the british british policies to the extent they even started taking the children of the tribal with them saying that they are going to teach more civilization values to these tribals and this was the extent of exploitation that they suffered example of these tribes include chara devi pujak sansi sandhya dafe do remember the example because many time in example that is going to create a cutting edge like uh, like a uh, 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 edge for you so that you can score good in your exam let's move ahead and uh, uh, let's uh, let's actually understand the de- more about the denotified tribes now because of this these are how denotified tribes were created in 1871 because of this they suffered a lot however in post independence india they were actually renamed as like this act was repealed criminal tribe act of 1871 and with the economic offender act of like uh, 1950s of the 19 uh, uh, of the 1952 they were no longer called as criminal tribe however in this entire process they suffered a great degree of subjugation and alienation first at hand of britishers who actually subjugated them from their own homelanded occupation they were practicing before were considered as crime their homeland their forest was taken away from them but in even in post independence india they did not find solution to their problem because in post independence india they suffered the problem of severe neglect and deprivation they belonged to the area in which the infrastructure was not there communication service not provided and even after so many years of like independence they did not get the right to forest the forest right act is passed in 2006 they're not the data is not available to them so overall we see even the benefit that has been given to the other sts is not available to many of the denotified tribes because they are not been recognized as such so they suffer from the po- problems of social discrimination because still tagged as criminal they are tagged they are tagged as criminal second they suffered economic hardship because their means of livelihood is quite old it is not accepted and that's why their livelihood is greatly impacted 
Next is the declining population. Overall, this community has become closed and without any kind of support, their population is declining. And one can see a large scale exclusion of the DNT from the government policies. Overall, there, there is a lack of data on the DA, D, like denotified tribes, ke how many of them are present, like what kind of development needs are there. And adding to that, now they are suffering from identity threat. As since the government policy threatened them, again, the whole idea of CA and RC, they do not have data with them. And there is a greater possibility that they may, not, they may actually be added into the communities that do not come into the list of NRC. So which has added the trouble for the denotified tribes. This was understanding the present scenario. Now, government of India has recently recognized this, but it has been working to actually uplift the denotified tribes from their, uh, like, from their scenario, which began in 1949 itself. Like with the establishment of Anand Swami Ayangar Committee, it said, first of all, denotified these tribes. And accordingly, a Habitual Offender Act was passed in 1952. But this was not sufficient. And with that, Venkat, Venkat Chalia Commission in 2002 said that you need to work on the upliftment of economic and education, upliftment and development of these, uh, uh, these tribes. Because just denaming them, ya fe, uh, uh, preventing the discrimination is not going to help. You have to provide the tangible measures to them. Similar initiative was taking place in 2008-2015 when the Renke Commission was established in 2008 and Edate Commission was 2015. Edate Commission was given the responsibility to identify the denotation tribes I collect the data about their current social status and then actually uh, uh, like recommend the policy changes that can be taken to promote the development of the denotified tribes and in this initiative thus came the seed scheme seed scheme which is dedicated to the development and welfare of the denotified tribes and nomadic and semi semi, uh, semi nomadic tribes and this and this scheme actually will be implemented by. So first of all, you need to understand the seed scheme. The scheme has come into being to promote the development of these kind of, like these denotified tribes. And for this, it is working on forefront. Health, education, livelihood and housing. For education, it will promote the access to medical school and engineering facilities. Also, even it will provide actually coaching facilities to get into the civil services. For health, it will provide uh, access to the India's health insurance policy, that is PM Arog Yoshna. For livelihood, it will try to provide the livelihood opportunity, skill and other kind of facility to the tribal people. And overall for housing, they will be included in PM Avas Yoshna or Indra Avas Yoshna to provide the housing to these communities. So this is the, uh, the, uh, the actually their main goal, to provide the educational and socio-economic development of these communities by these kind of means. Now, who will be implementing this scheme? This scheme will be implemented by Development and Welfare Board for DNT, SNT, and NT, which was established in 2019 on the recommendation of Idate Commission itself. Now, for this, 200 crore is allocated for the next five for next five years, and to implement the scheme in a like successful manner, a portal is being established. This portal has three main functions in terms of number one. This portal will help seamless registration. It will be easy for a tribal to register in here. Then it will be easy for them to actually access the information they want. And it will be easy for them to track the entire progress of their application. So this portal will make e the, uh, the greater uh, accountability and transparency possible along with accessibility for the tribal because of which the development will be more easy as compared to other schemes. And with this, we will make the slogan of our Prime Minister possible. That is, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Prayas. So we are promoting inclusivity in society with, with the help of which we can actually reduce the india Bharat divide. And with this, we are done with to, uh, today's uh, video. I hope uh, with this video, you're able to understand who are Vimukt Jatis, that is denotified tribe. What are their problems? what were the historical condition and what is the present condition right now and how seed skin can help them. Now, if you have any doubt regarding the tribes, you can actually search for the video about the tribes in the forumized videos, which is available in the social issues lecture. Otherwise, if you have any other doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Current Affairs by Forum IAS is an all-in-one program that covers the dynamic aspect of the syllabus from both prelims and mains perspectives. Last year, we have helped more than 100 students crack IAS with our Current Affairs classes.